Countryside Wrestling is a tradition, it's a family, uh, it's a discipline, uh, you know, from youth. We got guys who are four and five coming in here Tuesdays and Thursdays. Like I'm saying it's a lifestyle. Uh, it's just how we're born, we're bred. It's a little bit different uh, from the programs around the area and across the state, but there's something special that's going on between these walls right here. I think Eastside Wrestling is like a, a tradition and we are a family. Some top programs. It's like really challenging to be in. And like there's a high level of expectations for everyone in it. I mean, it's just a family, you know. We got the team and the coaches, but it's beyond that. There's the alumni, there's the little kids, there's all our parents. It's just a big old family, and we got a good tradition going. It's, it's a pretty special team. They've accomplished a lot of things that the other teams haven't. Of course, the 25 years in a row is something that they've accomplished on the backs of the others. So. Everybody's got stock in that. But sending 14 kids to uh, the state tournament is a huge accomplishment. Putting 14 kids in the finals of the region tournament for the first time for us ever is a huge accomplishment. The three shutouts in the playoffs was a huge accomplishment. They've, they've, they've wrestled hard, they've wrestled well. Uh, they're a special bunch. Like everyone's really focused during practice. And They'll have like a goal to like to win state every year, like be part of the dynasty, part of the club. I mean, we're pretty good. You know, I think we're one of the best teams that's been around in recent history. Uh, I mean, we're we're brothers. We're all good. You know, 14 qualifiers. That's not something that's been done in a long time around here. We do have incredible depth this year, as strong as the lineup is. Uh, we have seniors that weren't starting that started last year. We had weight classes that went back and forth and back and forth between the starter and the guy behind him uh, a number of times. So yeah, we had a lot of depth in our, in our lineup this year, uh, more than we've ever had before. Four years ago we had, um, we were stacked with seniors. And when those seniors left, it was just all the sophomores left. And uh, we didn't, we weren't able to win state that year, but that, I think that motivated us to work harder. I think hard work is what got us the championship my um, unit year, and we just kept building on that, and we we got it this year too. And it was it was amazing, a uh, back-to-back win. You know, it, it really means a lot to me because I got I've got friends that came before me that we can talk about their memories and all the great things they did, and I can talk about all the great things that me and my boys did, share everything that we've contributed to Eastside Wrestling. It never gets old, like. It's the third time that I've been part of the state championship team. It feels the same way every time. You know, it, I mean, it's a, it's a lot of work, a lot of sacrifice, uh, a lot of suffering that they put in, and uh, to to accomplish what they set out to accomplish in the fashion in which they did it uh, is extremely impressive. They were dialed in. They were they were sharks circling uh, the day of the match, ready to go, smelling blood. They were they were. Definitely meat eaters going into that last match, and when you saw how they wrestled, they did a fantastic job, and they were they were positive they were going to win it. It's hard to beat a team when they know they're going to win. Bringing a trophy back to East Side is is different than any other school in the state. Bring it back to Eagle Nation, uh, best fan base, best student section always. They're behind us, so it's great to bring it back for the families and uh, all the supporters and all the fans.